Nadia Drake, a second-year DMPS trailblazer, has developed a flexible seating environment for her kindergarten students in order to provide them with opportunities to self-select space according to their learning styles. Hi, I'm Nadia Drake. I'm a kindergarten teacher here at Riverwoods Elementary. I've been teaching for three and a half years. One of my focuses as a trailblazer is to create an environment where my students have a choice of workplace that will hopefully foster an environment for them to be more responsible for their learning. I did research seeing the cons and benefits of it and it showed that students become more responsible for their learning, usually learn more and creativity is boosted. I didn't really like the confined space of a classroom with a bunch of desks and everything, so decided to eliminate some of the desks, kept some tables, and brought in some alternative seating and it really opened up my classroom. Students are able to first choose where they go, so they can go to tables, they can work on the floor, um, they can work on the crates, so kind of where they gravitate towards, but then they're able to um, move about the room, they can stand while they're doing their work, they can lay down while they're doing their work, and that allows them to be comfortable. One of the benefits that I've seen is an active classroom as far as students interacting with other students that maybe wouldn't take place if I were to assign them at different tables. Another benefit is I feel like my classrooms are much more relaxed now because students have that choice. They have the options to go where they want. They're not constantly sitting in a chair or at a desk. Students coming from preschool where they're very mobile, they're up and moving lent itself very well to come into my classroom and be successful. One challenge I would say that I did run into is just students realizing who they can sit next to but still get their work done. With that we kind of built an atmosphere of what are my responsibilities still. First, we kind of talked about um, how there's different ways that we could sit in the classroom. Coming in on the first day, students obviously realized that this might look a little bit different. They didn't have an assigned spot. Some kids didn't really know where to go. So we had that conversation about where we can work in the room and having those options. I made kids go to all different spots in the room, whether it was laying down, sitting at tables, uh, working on the crates that we have in our classroom, so that they could have experience with all of those options. After about, I would say probably a week and a half, two weeks of that, I started to let them choose where they wanted to go to see what worked best for them after being at those places for a significant you know, number of days. And from there, I would say we continue to have conversations about, okay, was this a good place for me to work today? Yes, no, and we talked about why was it, and the kids had that conversation with each other. At the beginning of the year, I noticed students that would lose their focus, so we started to have conversations about that if a kid is getting up and moving, that it doesn't really matter that we stay focused on what we're learning. As the year went on, um, they've learned to focus in on the task at hand. Various things are coming back into me. We're having conversations. I'm walking around the room, checking in on them. Honestly, the kids probably hold themselves more accountable than I do, um, just because I feel like they have that choice, and now that they have a choice and we've built that responsibility of getting their work done, that it kind of just at this point of the year now comes naturally. Through this year and with implementing the kind of flexible seating, I've realized that all students don't necessarily learn a certain way. Especially during whole group time, I found I had kids that were standing, they were sitting, doing the standard crisscross applesauce or laying down. And my kids knew as long as they were paying attention that I didn't care how they were sitting or standing. So moving forward with that, I'm going to continue doing what I've done this year, but then also implement a few other options for students to use. Just allowing kids to have options to kind of still wiggle and move, but be able to pay attention and be responsible for their learning. The first question that 
you should ask yourself is what do you want to accomplish? After kind of doing my initial research, I kind of thought, what do I want to accomplish with my kids in my classroom and how can my layout help me? So again, I came up with my idea of what I wanted, but then I also realized I had to let go of some of the control. I wasn't controlling where students were sitting. I wasn't controlling where they were working. Initially guided students in ideas of where they could work and how they could do their work at those various places. But as soon as the kids understood those guidelines, the kids became responsible for that.